winter has most certainly been a time of hibernation. I remember as the summer drifted away and all the heat left with it, I found my true self again. And I really wondered why that was. I feel as though every autumn I go through this feeling of finding me again, but I always find myself filled with things keeping me from me. So like November-ish time is always this <laughs> inner life crisis of just going, this isn't working, this isn't me, I, I need to get rid of everything then refind myself. It, it's, it's such an odd pattern that I've noticed. <laughs> and then winter comes and I feel as though I'm cocooning. I'm, I'm, I'm a fetus again. I'm, I'm just regrowing, refinding re myself, but I'm there. And I'm, I'm strengthening the foundation of me. I, I know there are people who um, hate the winter time, and, and I get it. When I lived in Seattle, I absolutely hated winter due to the gray skies, but where I am currently, despite the snowstorms and despite the dreadful black ice that I have grown to loathe, we still have blue skies. Most days there are blue skies. There are only, I think, a handful of gray sky days and it's just in the midst of a snowstorm. And when there's a snowstorm happening, you're so distracted by the beauty of the wonderland. Nature is currently painting that you don't really care that much about the gray skies. Wow. It is just so stunning. It kind of feels as though I'm in this magical wonderland. The area of which I'm in isn't that magical. I mean, it is, but it also isn't. I've vented on here many times about <laughs> just a lot of issues here, but when it snows, it just, it just covers it all up. And I feel as though I'm in a fairyland somewhere in, an old Arthurian legend or, 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 or a Grimm's fairy tale. And I just feel like me. It, it's as though the snow surprisingly melts away any brain fog, any cobwebs that might have started to form up there. And I, and it's like I, I can breathe for the first time. There's no way I'm going to have a bad day now. Maybe even a bad week. It's just, it'll just be magic, pure magic from here on out. I, I just, I love winter. I feel like summertime is the time that I get the most depressed. And I've been thinking about that a lot. How, how do I get myself in these predicaments where I create a bunch of headaches for myself and why do I hate summer so much? It's the season of which I grow a year older and as someone who used to read Peter Pan every year and dream as a child that he would rescue me from aging, that, that could be a reason. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that summertime was my social time. The school year, I would prefer to be more reclusive I was a lot, I was, I was very introverted. My mom is very reclusive and by nature and my dad is just an introvert. So it was pretty easy to go about it. But the summer, the summertime, that was my socializing season. It was the season that I did theater camp and it was, um, it was musical theater, right? Like you're singing, you're dancing, you're acting. At our camp, we would do costume design, set design, we, we would learn everything and it was extremely social. I think it started at like 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning and went until 5 p.m. I don't remember. <laughs> this was like 10 years ago. It was just us and our little drama group. Then afterwards we would all hang out and it went for about a good nine weeks. 
and then it was over. And then I would still see my friends every now and again, um, but they went to public school, so it was pretty rare, especially since when you're homeschooled you kind of finish school within two hours and then you don't have homework or anything, at least that's how my homeschool system was set up. Then once I was done with high school and done with theater, I went on to work at a summer camp once again for nine weeks, constant socialization. And then when those nine weeks were up, I would come back and work a pretty introverted job as an assistant for um, creative writers, for a creative writer program or a yoga instructor, both very introverted jobs. I mean, I know you're like leading a class for yoga, but there's not that much talking and it's a very calm, low energy environment. And I think throughout those years of having so many different forms of summer camp, my natural state becomes extremely extroverted during the summer. And then when autumn comes, my body just shuts down and goes, okay, we're done. It's time for the hibernation of the year until next June. But that didn't exist this year, that, that separation. And I think I slowly went a little bit mad and <laughs> depressed. And then winter came and I just, Oh, the rebirth, the rebirth I felt, the recharge, it was incredible. And normally at this point, I'm getting excited to see people again, but this time around, I'm really not <laughs> because I feel like my summer went far too long and I'm not like completely reclusive nowadays, but I will say I have been really enjoying me time, just time with my family. Anyways, that's a roundabout way of saying this winter was incredible because not only did I have a chance to rebirth myself, oh gosh, that sounded disturbing, but rediscover myself and really set that foundation, but I, I, I kind of learned why I need to reset that foundation every year. And I'm hoping with this knowledge, maybe 2021 will be a better year. I feel like 2020 was the year that we all realized our, our issues, our, our tics, the things that create unhealthy habits and lifestyles. And 2021 is the year we put this into practice, whether or not this year is any different from the year prior. Do I still love winter now that spring is just around the corner? Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it leave, but I'm excited for it to return. I've reached this point where I'm starting to love all seasons and I see the beauty of each season and I'm really excited for another year of a season of snow. Though I'm not excited for the black ice, I really, really do not like the black ice. It's quite infuriating, if I'm quite perfectly honest. Slipping on it a few times this year, seeing my life flash before my very eyes, or worse, my camera's life. However, I am looking forward to doing simple things quickly. For example, where we live, we don't have like a mailbox. We have to have a PO box. So I have to go on this pretty long hike to the post office. But you know, at least it's beautiful. At least the walk has just been a journey of pure magic. Yeah, but I, I would like it to be a little bit of an easier process <laughs> to get a thing of salt. Oh, and that's the other thing. It's really hard 
to have food up here because our our grocery shop doesn't have that good of a selection and plus there have just been so many people up here due to the lockdown pandemic situation that they just clean off the shelves and there's really nothing left over so we have to go down the mountain to get food but that's also really dangerous so I've really learned just how incredible <laughs> um, ordering food online is for people who live in these sort of areas. Today is a good day because the grocery store had a few fresh produce left over. So that means that I can actually batch cook something. I do love some intricate recipes and dishes. Like we've been making this vegan cheese sauce out of sweet potatoes, as well as this wintertime curry. Oh my gosh, absolutely delicious. So, you know, like, a lot of comfort foods, but today I thought I'd make the ultimate comfort food, a burger. Um, and the patty will be made out of sweet potatoes and cannoli beans. Winter was most certainly a beautiful season. And though there's a little tiny bit of me that's sad to see it go, I'm very excited for the next adventure.